I think we got a fish on the rod straight out the back. I know we got one on that one. Boom, boom, we got one going here. Look at that fish. Boom, there goes another one. There goes another one right there. These fish are back here at six feet of water. When you can call that your smallest, you're having a pretty good day. Guys, I don't even have all the rods out in this rod. Just went off pinky, just folded over. That feels like a decent fish. Still got one rod here in the floor. I hadn't put out my other chicken bait on this side. And bam, she went. They knocked this one in gear. That's a quick hookup. I like that. Sun's not even above the trees yet. Heck yeah. My kind of fish. That's a good bend on that rod. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Take it down. Take her down. Beautiful right here before sunrise. How big that fish is. Oh, that's going to be a netable one. Let the net that fish. Heck yeah, boom, in the net. Man, that didn't take long. That did not take long at all. Good looking blue cat. Not a giant, but heck of a nice start to the day, isn't it? Heck yeah, nice fish. Let's get him back alive. He go. Yeah guys, I got out here pre-dawn today. Uh, kind of to put the Lun through the works in the dark. I've only got a few fishing trips on it and I uh, wanted to try it in the dark. Why do you ask? Well, one, make sure all the lights are working. Sure, you can check that at home, but it's good to make sure the stuff's working when you're out on the water, when the boat's vibrating and shaking and running. It's also good to check out the visibility, just what you can see looking through the windshield, looking over the bow. It's got a big trolling motor in the front, so I wanna make sure that was cool. Yeah, just see how everything else is. Every boat's a little different. You've heard me say that before, so wanted to see what the visibility was like inside the boat. Uh, stuck a fish quickly, got that one in the boat quickly, trying to develop a little bit of a fall pattern here to see what's going on with these fish as we transition into fall. Still warm, still got warm water, but we're starting to make that fall transition and that's what we're gonna talk about a little bit today. Boom, look at that one go, look at that one go, look at that, that's a good bite right there. That is on a perch, that is on a piece of cut bait. That may be a better fish. That feels like a better fish. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Ancient Mariner Reels 30 pound Andy monofilament line. And these go Mexus power handles. I really like them. Try to let that planer board plane back out a little bit. The inside when to get behind this. Boy, that fish is pulling. One thing when you're pulling against the board, it adds some drag to it. But if you catch a few of these, you kind of get a feel for what's what. Yeah, I like the Gamexus handles. They give you a nice, Firm grip, that round ball on there, convenient to hold on to. And man, it'll spin for days. It will spin and spin and spin. If I didn't have to grab it, it would keep on spinning. Nice fish. Again, we've got perch on this side of the boat, starboard side, chicken on the other. I like to mix them up. Coming into the fall, sometimes these perch can work out better. We'll talk about that in a minute. I like having a mix out there. You never know what they're feeding on. You never know where you're gonna find them. And that kind of dictates what they're, uh, what baits they're gonna hit. It's fish. Big Cat Fever Rod, this is a medium-like trolling rod. It's got a little more flex on the tip, which I really like for hook sets on fickle fish. But man, these fish this morning, these two have not played around. Easy sassy, good netable fish. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That fish is in the teens. Nice fish. Heck of a start. Sun's not even above the trees yet. Oh yes, sir. Good fish. Oh, we'll take that all day long. Perfect hook set. That one ate the perch head. That's got the uh, big cork on it. Heck yeah. Nice fish. Probably 16, 17 pounds. Eating that perch. Cut bait one, chicken one. Let's get this puppy back alive. Well, pal, there's another fish in the boat, a nice one, well into the teens there. You know, this fall fishing can be on fire. It can be some of the best fishing of the year. Uh, I rank it right up there with springtime. The great thing about springtime is generally you're coming out of a long winter and cold and it start to warm up, stuff's getting active. Here, you're just coming out of the heat and uh, it's nice this morning, uh, a little cool, uh, but you know, we still got days. This is early fall, so you're still gonna have days that'll be in the 80s, sometimes even the 90s. And uh, the good news is, 
this, it's got fish on the move. It's got them scattered. It's got them all over the place. It's got them up on the banks. They're not necessarily deep. Very good time to be fishing. It's, even for you bank anglers that are out, uh, it, it's a good time because you got a lot more stuff pulling in shallow. We had some guys the other day I talked to that were doing some bank fishing. Had fish cruising up and down the banks, chasing uh, shad and other fish that are pushing around. Shad are all over the place, man. These schools are going in, in, in and out of different spots around the lake. Today, I'm gonna try a cove off of Main Creek. Uh, this worked the other day. There were actually some uh, uh, perch up in here feeding. They were feeding on some of the threadfin shad. So stuff's on the move, stuff's around. A lot of, the other, a lot of other things going on uh, with fall fishing. And we'll talk about that in a minute after we catch another fish. All right, guys, we're just checking some baits. I just got a planer board out. Back out on that side, the outside one is out and the inside one's out and I think we got a fish on the rod straight out the back. I know we got one on that one. Boom, boom, we got one going here. That's a better fish on this side. I'm gonna take this one first. Pow, that looks like a smaller fish right there. Don't know, this looks like a better bite here. This is on the cut bait on this side. We got one going there on that. He is not slamming it down. So it's just above the trees. We got two in the boat. Now we got another one. Decent fish, decent fish. B-cap boards, in case you're wondering. Y'all know I use these things exclusively now. These are just some new colors they got. Get back, come on baby, come on. There you go, now you know you're hooked. Now you know you're hooked. Feels nettable. Ah, yeah, I need the net. Good problem to have, guys, good problem to have. There's another one in the teens. Got him. Matt Robertson would say, we on him. Did it actually pull in that other line too? Huh? How did that get up here? There he is. Nice fish. Hitting them like a freight train today, man. Slamming them good. Good bites. Good bites. No complaints on that. All right, let's get that one back alive. All right, I was just getting some of these lines. All right, getting some of that stuff situated on that side from that fish. And I swear, I think there's one on this piece of cut bait right here. Yes, sir. Hooked up. Hooked up. Got him. Got him on. Go, man. This is a good bite. Good early morning. This thing about fall. This is the way fall fishing can be. It can be two, three, four fish an hour, sometimes more. Depending on where you're at, what kind of fish population you got. They are feeding, and they're feeding pretty good. We will take this all day long. We'll talk a little bit in a minute about why this is happening. Let's get this one in the boat. Oh, it's a good eater. Good eater. Good eater. Heck yeah, one of our bigger channel cats on this lake. It's a channel hitting a piece of cut bait. Cut bait's doing good today. It's a big channel. For us, that's a big channel catfish. We'll take that all day long right there. Big old long channel catfish. I wish we still grew them big, big in here. But for now, this is what we got. I'll let that one go back and breed. Well, folks, you know what the one thing is I don't have on the boat? My fish clicker, my counter, I don't have one on here. I think that's fish number five. I don't know, it came in a flurry there. We had uh, some fish stacked up back to back to back. So I think that makes five, which is kind of typical this time of the year. You can get a lot of that going on in the fall. These fish are totally done with the spawn. They are, uh, you know, into a feeding pattern now where they're not having to tend to females. Uh, I think our spawn went long this year. I've heard that from a lot of people. There were a lot of people that were harvesting fish that were finding out, finding eggs in them uh, well into July. Typically, July's wind down stage by August. It's really, really good. Our August was not on fire this year. We had some spurts, some ups and downs, and uh, I think the spawn carried on long for whatever reason. Who knows? I may be wrong. I may be crazy. These fish are just, uh, you know, shatter on the move. They're running around. We have not had our what you would call a turnover, which is not a real turnover. It's just a big uh, plankton algae die off that happens. So that hasn't happened, at least I haven't noticed it. And we've had good stable water. So everything's good in the catfish world. The, in, in the fall, when the, all that stuff comes together, you don't get a lot of rain from tropical storms and that kind of stuff. It can end up with some good, good fishing. And, you know, like here, I'm in a cove. 
Uh, this is not even a major creek dumping in here and there's fish in here. Why are the fish in here? Because there's shad running through here. You know, the, the plankton that they're feeding on is abundant and it's everywhere and it's just kind of a food cycle, man. Uh, you get those fish in there moving around eating and, uh, you know, you've got the mid-sized fish feeding on them and then the big catfish feeding on them after that. So it's, it's good fishing. It's a good time to get out. You'll see this continue, uh, you know, on into the fall. I mean, you know, this is early, early fall here. But once it starts getting cooler, these temperatures, I mean, this fishing is going to stay the same. It's going to get good, good, good till those temperatures start dropping down into uh, the 50s. And that's when you'll see a fall off in the flatheads for sure, at least where I'm at. And also the channel catfish bite will start to slow down some. And, uh, you know, probably won't have as much luck in these areas. Fish will pull back out to these main feeder creeks. But for now, man, it's good, good fishing. If you got a chance, it's a beautiful time to get out. It's beautiful in the mornings. Uh, even the afternoons are not horribly bad. Good temperatures, good fishing. It's hard to beat. Man. I think we got one more going on the chicken right here. About to run out of cove back here. I was literally getting ready to pull all the rods in. And this is a good fish. This is a really nice fish. Yeah, I'm about blown into the back of this creek. This is a good, good fish. Just videoing some deer over there on the bank. And I was like, man, it's time to make a move. I ain't been bit here in about 10 minutes, almost to the back here, about seven, eight feet of water. And this one goes off. We will take them any way we can get them. Get that planer board off of there. There we go. Rod up high, keep that tension on it. Let's maneuver the net into position. The joys of fishing alone. You get to wrangle some stuff. Keeps it interesting anyway. Straight up and down underneath the boat. That puppy is not wanting to come up. Oh, there he is. 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 Easy. In the net. You can't beat this, guys. Boom, there goes another one. There goes another one right there. These fish are back here in six feet of water. Glad I brought my pliers. Got him. Get him up here real quick, get a good look at him. He'll come right on this guy's dock. Look at that. Look at that fish. Nice, I'm gonna get him back alive. Move my motor here a little bit. Boom. This out of the way. Boom, there goes another one. We got three. We got a mess, guys. This over here. I gotta work this planer board out of this dock or we gonna have a problem. There we go. There we go. Unreal, unreal bite here. Gotta do some boat wrangling. I'm just gonna try to stay off of there. Just when I was getting ready to turn the boat around. Poof. We smashed some. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Take it any way we can get it. Any way we can get it. Another nice fish. Very nice fish. Let's see if I can get him to this side. Uh, that out of the net. May lose one of these in the dock. In the net. Uh, there's the other one. I gotta get him around that dock or I'm gonna lose him. I'm gonna have to put some pressure on him. I'll put pressure on this one. Oh, he's up on the dock post. This is all or nothing on this. Uh, yeah. Alright, he cleared it. Crazy. Now I gotta get off this dock. Come on. Come on. Unreal. Normally don't put this much pressure on the fish, but hand line this one in. To him. Oh, it's 
It's gonna be too big to lift in. Oh, there we go. When you can call that your smallest, you're having a pretty good day. We'll get that one back alive. We're gonna go down here and get this one. Another one. Well into the teens. Get that out kind of easy. Good job. Another one in the teens. Dude, what a day. I can't even keep up with how many I've caught at this point. Eight? Unbelievable. Good fish. Good, good fish. Well, guys, there you go. That's a good example of how these fall catfish can get stacked up. And in places you wouldn't expect them to be. Listen, we caught them in 30 feet of water starting out uh, right there at sunrise. And then, boom, we're back here in five, six, seven, eight feet of water catching them just a little while later. So these fish are all over. Uh, these back here, obviously, well within casting distance of somebody off the bank. And uh, it just shows you, man, they can be all over the place in the fall. It's a great time to get out. Don't get locked into preconceived notions about where fish are in the fall because they can be anywhere. If you see bait fish in the morning, you see them popping on top of the water, you're probably going to have catfish around. So good time to be on the water. Beautiful time of the year. Get out and enjoy it. Go catch some catfish.